Parker. Please proceed to space 818. 818. 818. I can't do today, Ma. I'm uh, literally walking out for an audition right now. Huh? Oh, uh, for a um, pork rinds commercial. Yep, been studying all day. Ab M Mom, I can't come over afterwards, all right? You know I'm tired after auditions, and you live in Calabasas. Last thing I need right now is to fall asleep behind the wheel. Just drop your money in the mailbox. Give me a call when you're leaving, OK? OK, I love you, too. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> Audition. Ethan requires that you see him in his office immediately. Wonderful. Here we go. I need to get the prime minister on the phone right now. Need a guarantee from you that he can be in Dubai. On the 24th. Now, can you do that? Yeah, no, I can set up the chance meeting. But I'm not doing anything until I get your word that he's definitely going to be there. I'm not going to waste my client's time waiting for some conjecture. What's it going to be? Book it. Nice. Done. All right, but listen, I got a jet. I got a low-level schmuck in my office right now who can't handle his one client. All right, man, take care. What the fuck is going on down there? Listen, sir, I know it looks bad. Bad? Bad? That's what you have to say for yourself? Are you kidding me? It's fucking pathetic. This guy, he's been on the couch for 18 days straight. <laughs> Except for an occasional five minutes when he takes a shit. What the fuck are you doing? His max potential is what, 82? You should have him clocking in around he 80. He hasn't responded to any of the standard signals or motivators. You know, he's missed meetings. I, I sincerely am trying to help him, but I don't think I can. That is bullshit, all right? I mean, maybe, maybe I made a mistake of promoting you. Maybe you're not ready for this Sir, role. he wants to be an actor, yet never goes on auditions. <laughs> he constantly orders delivery, pizza, Chinese food, tacos. It's like a never-ending carousel of gluttony with this guy. And as your presentation points out, he never goes outside. I'm afraid he's gonna fuse to that disgusting couch. He lies to his mother. He lies to his mother. Basically exploits her for money. You know, he has no hobbies, no real skills, no redeeming qualities, except, oh, he's really good at sniper rifling Nazis in his stupid video game. Like, ah, I'm gonna kill all these Nazis. You know, he's actually frighteningly good at that. But other than racking up headshots, I honestly haven't found one thing that motivates this guy. Not one. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm, I'm lost. Well, I didn't know you had so much fight in you, Joe. I like it. Because fading is not easy. It's not meant to be. It's like chess. To win, you gotta be seen five, 10, 20 moves ahead. And it's your job to guide your client towards their ultimate goal, towards their maximum potential, which I like to call Checkmate. But remember, they're not robots. They're not just gonna blindly obey every command you throw at them. They're people, they got free will. So if they blow an opportunity, 
Well, it's your job to step back and re-examine the game. Listen, Joe, do whatever you have to do, but for fuck's sake, get that lazy piece of shit off the fucking couch. Do you understand me? Because if he dips below 65, I'm sending you back down. It's nothing but telemarketers and hookers for you. You understand me? Yes, sir. All right, now get the hell out of here. I got a nuclear war brewing. If I don't get the president of Iran late tonight, we're all fucked. Hey, Joe. I heard about your meeting with Ethan. Yeah, I think the whole building probably heard it. That man has some lungs. What are you gonna do? I don't know. This guy's hopeless. Here, watch this. <clears throat> Send voicemail? Hello, this message is for Frank Russo. This is Mo at Valley Casting Agency. We found your headshot online and would like to book you for a national pizza chain commercial. All you have to do is come into our offices today and the part is yours. Seriously, it's that easy. We look forward to seeing you. But what if he really goes? Just watch. Oh, yeah, you got it, Mo. Pizza chain commercial. Can't wait. That's what I'm dedicating my life to. That's the art. <laughs> And then he eats pizza. Wow, that is impressive. Well, everyone gets stuck sometimes. I'm sure you'll think of something. Get off your couch, you no, lazy don't mother. Joe. Oh, hell no. What? Come on, Ma. Hey, neighbor girl. Me? My name is Natalie. No time for names. All right, was your power just going off? Uh. No, I don't think so. God, mom's late on the power bill again. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Did you see that? She just made his potential go up a point. I don't know. I don't necessarily think it was her. Oh, yeah, it was. It went up after he talked to her. That's got to mean something, right? Now I just need to get him to cross paths again. Okay, well, that's good. Good luck with that, then. Thanks. All right. Time to get creative. Fire. Fire. Please exit the building. Fire. Fire. Please exit the building. No luck, huh? I might as well be using smoke signals. Joe, Ethan, I thought I warned you. I swear you lose one more point and I'm gonna use your left testicle as a stress ball. Got it? <sighs> Screw it, I'm going down there. Wait, what? Can't afford to lose a testicle. But you can't. You're not allowed. Asians train for decades before they're allowed in the field, let alone meet their client. No. You're not ready. Eliza, relax. I've been watching these guys for years. How hard can it be? Just don't tell Ethan, okay?
You cop? Huh? No. What? Debt no. collector? Debt no. collector? I'm no. all paid up, homie. Oh, man, I'm an agent. An agent? Wow. <laughs> Get out of town. Hello, Frank Russo, actor. How you doing? I don't know if you could tell from what I was just doing right there. Yeah, I'm actually in between agents right now. Looking for any talent, or maybe? I could juggle, all right? I could swim fast as hell. I could do accents, all right? That's my English. And then I could do also do American. Okay, <laughs> you're an actor. Yeah, and I'm an acting agent. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I'd be happy to discuss that. Perhaps we should have a lunch meeting. Uh, perhaps I already have a pizza on the way. Let's do this. God, what a but chance. Wait, wouldn't you rather go out, you know, see daylight, get some exercise? Mailman giving me the wrong mail. Who the hell is Natalie Pierce? I don't know. Sorry, Natalie. No, wait, 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 wait. I mean, shouldn't you return this to the right apartment? Man, it looks like she's got some pretty important bills uh, here. Looks like there's a pretty important pizza over here. Hey, Bruno, Bruno. Bruno, stop sniffing the pizza, dude. Come on, I'm starving. You in? Let's go, let's talk about our future. Let's go, come on. So pizza is amazing. I love it. Now I get why you order it so often, you know? Huh? Come in! Hello. Hi, um, Frank, uh, right? Mm-hmm. I think I got some of your mail by mistake. We haven't officially met, I'm Joe. <laughs> Hi. Natalie, nice to meet you. Hey, Natalie, go ahead and just leave that anywhere on your way out. Um, would you like a piece of pizza? We have some. We have two. Have a piece. <laughs> um, uh, sure. Yeah, I'm starving, thank you. <laughs> Headshot. Oh, pr press X. Oh, the blue button. Okay. Keep pressing the blue button. <laughs> oh. 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 Man. This is actually really fun. How did you get so good at video games? I have a lot of brothers. We grew up in a small town, and there really wasn't much else to do, you know? Video games or meth. <laughs> oh, wow. Where are you from originally? Ohio. I just moved here a couple months ago to be a writer. Wow, I didn't know Ohioans knew how to read. It's cool. Wow, sorry, a writer. <laughs> what type of writing? Um, that's a very good question. I think I'm still trying to figure that out. I like to write just about anything. I I'm working on this idea for a kid's show. It's like punked meets puppets. <laughs> Ugh, why? Kids are so dumb. Money's in movies, sweetie. Hey, you guys have something in common, both in show business. <laughs> yeah, if you could even call that show business. Puppets, you say? You know, I, I really should be going. Um, well, wait, wouldn't you like another piece of pizza? Well, if you can even call that pizza. You know, Joe, if you really want good Italian food, there's this great place called Tiny Tony's. It's this little mom and pop place. It's the best. Well, we'd love to try it sometime, wouldn't we, Frank? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'd love to. What about tomorrow night, say, 8 p.m.? Yeah, why not? That sounds like fun. Great, all right, let's do it. Cool, see ya. God, what a tease, right? Give me that. All right. What? So, check this out, man. I got a fiver on tomorrow night's MMA match, so I can't go, you know what I mean? Listen. As your agent, I really think you need to get out there more and, and meet some people and network. Wait 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 wait, 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 back it up, back it up, back it up. You just call yourself my agent? I'm your agent. Dude! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, hey, that means you're covering dinner tomorrow night, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay, I could push some things around. All right. Get ready for 24 fistfuls of bumper. Hey. You ready? Am I ready? Oh, dude, look, man, I know you're just trying to look out for me and everything, but 
DVR is full, fight's on. It's gonna be impossible for you to make it tonight. I'm really sorry. Don't you wanna see Natalie again? I mean, she seems like a really good match for you. Dude, what are you, my mother? Come on, man, she's a ginger anyways. I like black chicks with Asian girl butts. That just happened. The cable's out. Ooh. Well, it looks like you can go to dinner after all. Fine. Wait, well, wait a second. Is this like the only thing you ever wear, man? Yeah. If you're gonna be my representation, I'm gonna need you to dress with a little more sizzle. What do you mean, sizzle? What I mean is Friday night, okay? I want you to loosen the suspenders, all right, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a shower. I want you to go in my closet and find something with sizzle. meal I've ever eaten. How did you find this place? I've been going out to eat by myself a lot, I guess. Hmm. Why does that not surprise me? Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Could I get some more of this amazing bread? <laughs> yeah, in the check, please, thanks. Oh no, are you guys leaving? I wanted to take you to this awesome gelato place down the street. Oh, Frank, gelato. What, what is that? Chicken hear everything we're saying, but listen, I already put in two hours. If I leave now, I can catch the tail end of the fight. You and your little buddy over here, go get yourself some gelato. <laughs> hey, Nicole, it was great to meet you. Mm. Thanks for the drink, sweetie. You guys are gonna do great. Take it easy. You know, Frank really is a great guy when you get to know him. <laughs> Seriously? And how long have you known the little darling? Oh, gosh, one month. Four days, 18 hours, 37 minutes, and 28 seconds. Roughly. Excuse <laughs> me. Are you going to eat that? Oh, man. This is amazing. You know what? Now this is the best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> you know, it's really refreshing to meet someone out here who can just enjoy life and not take everything so seriously. You miss home? Yeah, sometimes. I kind of feel like it was maybe a mistake moving out here. Yeah, you know, I just feel kind of lost. What about you? You miss home, wherever home is? No, not at all. Especially not right now. But you know, you, you should give it all some time. You have great potential, I can tell. That's kind of an odd compliment, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, wow, I have to go. You know, I'd really love to read some of your writing sometime. I would like that. You know, it, I mean, if you want to, tomorrow morning you can read something I've been working on. There's a place by me that has a really mean breakfast burrito. A mean breakfast burrito? Wow, all right, that sounds good. I'll, I'll let Frank know. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if you want, sure. Perfect. All right. Oh, you know, we should really document this moment. You know, the first time Mr. Big Shot Agent eats gelato. Sure, yeah. OK. Let's take a picture. OK. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, one, two, three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. I, I gotta go, I'll see you tomorrow. Joe, you're not going back down again today, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way right now. Do you really think that's a good idea? Well, absolutely. Yeah, no, I'm making great progress with Frank. You know, he and Natalie are really starting to hit it off. Okay, gotta go, gonna be late. He's heading back down again. Understood. I will, sir. There she is. Ethan, what's 
going on here, Joe? Hey, what are you doing stepping on my bro, dude? No, You're about to get shit kicked. Frank, it's OK. This is my boss. Oh, sorry, another agent. Hey, Frank Russo, actor. I juggle. I do oxum. Frank is an actor. I I'm just helping him meet his potential. Frank. Hey, yeah, I need a moment with my colleague. OK. Hey, listen, you see that guy in the glasses? Yeah. Well, he's a writer. And he's developing a new sitcom for TBC. And I think you would be perfect. Go over and introduce yourself. Cable, Joe. <laughs> Thanks. Ethan, let me explain. Can it, Joe. Sit down. I know what's going on, Joe, and it's going to stop right now. You put me in quite a predicament. Eliza informs me that Natalie's potential has increased significantly since meeting you. Not Frank, but you. Eliza, you're Natalie's agent? Yes, she is. And if you were doing your job, you would know that. Now, while it's obvious you make Natalie happy, I cannot allow this to go on. Joe, these are people's lives. I'm transferring you off Frank's case effective immediately. And you are not to see either one of them ever again. At least let me tell her I'm going away. I'm sorry, Joe. I don't make the rules. You're just being transferred a couple floors down. Really pretty lenient considering the circumstances. You'll be back up here in a few decades. Look, this is why field work is only handled by the pros. It's not easy for us agents to adjust to life down there. The choices, all the complicated emotions, it would be hard on anyone. Convicts, gentlemen, can be a thankless, a challenging, a messy job. But think about it. You can't mess them up any more than they are. see you again, but I just wanted you to know that you are a really special person. You've opened my eyes to so much, and I just wanted to make sure that you knew that. I needed to make sure that you knew that. Wait, what are you talking about? You have a top-notch agent looking out for you, okay? She's gonna help you meet your potential and guide your way. Her name is Eliza, and I know she won't let me down. What do we do? He revealed us. Send a team down to center her memories, Frank's too, just the last few days specific to these encounters. Damn it, Joe. What will happen to him? I'll be sent back down. 
It's rare, but it does happen. Not everybody's cut out to be an agent. Joe, you're not making any sense. I don't, I don't understand. Easy, homie. Easy. Joe, oh, Joe, Joe. Joe, who the hell are these guys, man? They just fucked in my power okay, fist. Take it easy, Frank, all right? They're just doing their job. Oh. Gentlemen, do what you must. I'm glad I did what I did. Thursday night comedy, The Couch Buddy, starring Frank Russo. Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, could you order me a pizza? You dial the numbers way better than I do. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Guy's hilarious. Hello, uh, you, you asked to see me? Uh, yeah. Hi, I read a column for LA Monthly called Babes for Foodies, and our readers love your restaurant. Great. Yeah, um, well, can you sit? Sure. I was hoping I could ask you a few questions. Of course, yeah, I'm Joe. Natalie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what inspired you to start cooking? Wow, uh, you know, I. I don't know. I, I woke up one day and I realized I love food. And there are so many flavors out there that you can just work with. And I don't know. That's a weird answer, I guess. Did your parents cook along? Checkmate.